Hi friends, Pradeep Pindyala, your buddy. Today I am going to talk and share with you some secrets of how to read anybody's mind in seconds. <laughs> you won't believe. Is it possible? It's 100% possible. Just listen to my talk which would last for maybe 5 for 10 to 15 minutes maximum, maybe 5 to 7 minutes. And you would understand all the tricks of the tree to read someone's mind. Recognize the various personalities. You should know that basics, you know. Be a good listener to understand somebody's mind. And uh, there are non-verbal communications that you should be able to recognize. Well, humans cannot literally read the minds of others, basically. But by training, and as I said, the secrets shared with me, you would be able to read everybody's mind. You can create mental models so as to effectively intuit people's thoughts and feelings. This is known as empathic accuracy. Empathic accuracy. I'll tell you more about it. And it involves reading cues telegraphed by the words emotions and body language of others. Now, I was talking about cognitive empathy. Let me explain. Uh, around two decades ago, scientists in the University of Cambridge developed a test known as cognitive empathy. That's the secret of reading the mind through the eyes. It's also known as eyes test. This revealed that people can rapidly interpret what another person is thinking or feeling from looking at their eyes. That's all. Just look at the eyes and you could make out many things. Now, what are the th things like? Firstly, you should be open-minded. Pay attention to the appearance of the person whom you are trying to read. Pay attention to his or her posture. Watch the person's physical movements, interpret facial expression and there are few giveaways during small talks that you have to pick up and don't run away from the small talks. These are the small talks which gives many important points and understanding somebody's mind. And um, you must scan, <coughs> you must scan SCAN, the person's overall, overall behavior. By that you can know exactly what is going on in that person's mind. Mind power is very strong power. The power of thoughts, mind power is one of the strongest and most useful powers you can ever possess. And I'm going to give you that for free. <laughs> this power together with your imagination can create success or failure, happiness obviously or unhappiness, opportunities or obstacles that depends on your mindset and you. <laughs> well, you should know the basic emotions. What are these basic emotions of human? Fear, anger, joy, sad, contempt, disgust and surprise. But these basic emotions Fear, anger and joy, sadness, disgust and surprise, they are slightly different from others. Okay, with passion, excitement and acceptance. Fear is the most powerful among all the emotions. And since emotions are far more powerful than thoughts, emotions are very powerful, much more than thoughts. Fear can overcome even the strongest parts of your intelligence. Absolutely. To read faces, you must start by learning to identify those seven emotions which I have just mentioned. I'll repeat. Happiness, <coughs> sadness, surprise, fear, disgust, anger and contempt. You should be able to identify these seven basic emotions to read someone's mind. Disgust is characterized by wrinkled nose, lowered eyebrows, and open mouth. Disgust. If a person is disgusted with you, he or she will have wrinkled nose, <coughs> lower, lowered eyebrows and may or may not have open mouth. While contempt 
is a very simple. You can see by the raised chin and one-sided smile or sneer. That's how you can make out the person is having contempt with you. Do not shame people when they make mistakes. And uh, be vulnerably honest. See, that's very important when you're dealing with knowing the person well. You should have, use levity. Levity means amusement. That's very important. And never ever use dark psychology, please. Dark psychology, be, be away from dark psychology. What is it? This phenomenon by which people use tactics of motivation, persuasion, manipulation and coercion. That's, please don't do that for God's sake. Okay. Enjoy, start reading people's mind. Have a wonderful day. This is Colonel Pradeep Pindiala, Professor of Anesthesiology, signing off for today. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.